Hi, everybody. We're so thrilled and we're pleased to be joining you today. Thanks to National for asking us to say a few words for celebrating Nurse Practitioner Week from Massachusetts. I'm Amy Delaney. I'm the ledge chair of the Massachusetts chapter and also really involved with the Mass Coalition of Nurse Practitioners. And I'm here with Julianne Neems Walsh, my dear friend and colleague. Julianne, just a quick introduction. Hello, everyone. I'm Julianne Nemus Walsh, and I am a nurse practitioner as well. I practice in primary care and uh, have served on the past boards at uh, NAPNAP, Massachusetts, as well as on a national board for them. And so I am so excited to be here today, and we're really delighted to have such great news from Massachusetts. We have been working on this for many, many years. Uh, Amy, I don't know if you want to talk about some of the most recent. Yeah. So Massachusetts joins 23 states as of January 1, thanks to our governor and our legislation here in the state, we full, passed full practice authority. So the act promoting a resilient healthcare system that puts patients first was signed into law in January. And now we're actively working with the governing bodies and regulatory uh, bodies with actually rolling out the regulatory language for full practice authority which really, Julianne, it took a long time to do this. So we're also here to kind of give you hope that don't lose hope and embrace the failures as they come along. Julianne, how long did it take? It Oh, it took over 10 years. Amy, I recall being in the Charlestown Navy Yard 10 years ago, sitting down with legislative lobbyists as well as other nurse practitioner colleagues and clinical nurse specialists and CRNA. So embrace all the groups in your state um, and that lobbyist told us at the time, it will take 10 years. And so each and every time you go through that legislative session, make sure you learn something from it. Build relationships, involve your friends and family, involve, you know, develop like things, relationships with, with your legislators that as though they're your best friend. And um, I think that that really helped us move this along. And it was such a great New Year's Day to have the governor sign this bill. It gave me such hope during such a dark times in our global community. And seize opportunity, COVID-19 and the emergency declarations, they really helped us push this over the edge because seeing what nurse practitioners were doing in the setting of the pandemic, it was gonna be hard for the state to go back. So we're thrilled. We want you to, all of you that are working on full practice authority and removing restrictions that allows you to practice to your full scope, keep going, call us, NAPNAP, -NAP, we so thank you for all of the support from the national level as we continue to work towards implementing this and operationalizing it. And we, happy Nurse Practitioner Week. Keep yes. going and we hope you're all well. Happy Nurse Practitioner Week. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Dr. Carolyn Montoya. I am a primary care pediatric nurse practitioner and Associate Dean of Clinical Affairs for the College of Nursing, University of New Mexico. And I am also a past president of NAPNAP. I am also the project director for one of the US Health Resources and Services Administration Advanced Nursing Education Workforce Grants, affectionately known as the ANU Grants. So I wanna give a shout out to HRSA for focusing on advanced practice nursing and providing scholarships to our primary care nurse practitioner and midwifery students who work so very hard with our rural and underserved populations. These scholarships are especially appreciated given the financial hardships related to the pandemic. On a personal note, I was very humbled this year in the fall of 2020 to receive the New Mexico Center for Nursing Excellence Distinguished Nurse of the Year for New Mexico. And finally, I want to thank everyone here at the College of Nursing, University of New Mexico, our faculty, our staff, and our students who have volunteered their time to ensure that everyone gets vaccinated. So thank you for all that you do. Stay well. Hasta luego y que les vaya bien. Adios.
Hello everybody, this is Dr. Mary Kasla Petraco. I'm really happy to share what I've been doing with you for this past year. I've really been pretty busy. You know me, I'm not one to sit around and do absolutely nothing. Uh, first of all, I'm really thrilled and excited to have been invited back to NAPNAP to give the plenary for immunizations and I've been hard at work on that. I was also um, one of the on-screen people in the uh, Immunization Action Coalition 30th anniversary um, PBS um, film that's called um, Save, um, Protecting Health, Saving Lives. I was one of only two nurses featured in the, in the film. So I'm hoping you all go to the IAC website and take a look at that. Um, I also wrote an article with my very dear friend, Dr. Donna Hallis, um, on safe return to school. And we got a, an awful lot of um, interest in these articles. In fact, I wound up doing a, um, uh, a um, helping out a family in the city who started a pod for their children. So I'm now their online school nurse and their public health nurse consultant. Um, I was also pretty excited to be asked by ANA to be part of their hashtag, this is our shot um, for vaccine awareness to uh, work with nurse colleagues to decrease the um, hesitancy of nurses doing immune, uh, taking the COVID shots. I was picked because I was I was a polio pioneer and now I'm a COVID a vaccine pioneer. So it's been a pretty busy year for me and it's really exciting. Um, I also was on a couple of editorial boards and I've been reviewing some articles, um, almost all of them of course around vaccines and um, infectious diseases. But this is really a pretty exciting thing for all of us to have to do. And um, I'm looking forward to virtually seeing all of you um, at the conference um, in just a few weeks. So take care, everyone, and looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Hi, I'm Vicki Carrion, a nurse practitioner in Boston. This past year has certainly been eventful for me, my colleagues, and our patients in the headache program at Boston Children's Hospital. Our busy clinic transitioned seamlessly in March from all in-person to all virtual visits and then back again to partial in-person visits in May. The enforced downtime also allowed me to complete a personal and professional milestone project. I wrote and published my book, Getting Ahead of Pediatric Headaches, a practical guide for pediatric providers in primary care. I'm so proud to have finished this project, a signature achievement for my long career and a valuable resource for my colleagues. Hi everybody and happy Pediatric Nurse Practitioner Week. My name is Sarah Johnston and I am the president of the Pennsylvania Delaware Valley chapter of NAPNAP. I'm very proud of the work our chapter has been doing this year in response to the pandemic. At the end of the summer, chapter leadership designed face masks and we mailed them to over 350 of our DelVal members with the goal to help protect our members from coronavirus as well as to promote health and wellness in our community. And we continue to mail out face masks to um, new members each month. Um, we've also done some fantastic virtual fundraising events throughout the year to support an organization called Phil Abundance. As you know, coronavirus has affected all of us in so many different ways, but it has especially affected those families and children who were already food insecure. Phil Abundance is our area's largest hunger relief organization. And since June, our chapter has raised over $6,000. Um, some of the events that we have done are a holiday cookie baking event right after Thanksgiving, a New Year's wine and cheese pairing, a Valentine's themed vegan cupcake bake and decorate event. Uh, March 19th, we are hosting a beer tasting and doing a virtual brewery tour. In April, we're planning a Mommy and Me music sing-along. And in May, uh, we are going to host a self-care yoga event for our members. All of the proceeds are going to fill abundance with the goal of helping our community um, in this time of need. Thanks so much for listening. <laughs>